Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chess Blue. This is the first time I've recorded this in literally, well actually probably over a month. So yeah. I also have a bit of a cough right now um, because I had a cold a few weeks ago. I'm recovered from the cold, but well, the cough persists because that happens. So yeah, watch out for that. Anyway, we are in Troya, as the subtitle a minute ago said. Uh, we'll be going to the castle in a moment, but first, I need to pick something up here. Um, okay. Wait, what? Um, I think I need another one of these, actually. I'll buy one more feather cap. And two ruby rings. Actually, no. No, no, no. Not buying the ruby rings. The reason I'm doing all this will become evident in a minute. Well, not a minute, but it, it'll be this video. I also need one of these, and... Um, I have no idea if I have arrows for that. Just a sack. Okay, I need to buy arrows as well. Um... Okay, I guess I'll get 30, because I can't afford anymore. Anyway, to the castle. But first, welcome to Troa, the city where... The city where trees and water bound, abound. Shoo! Go find your own place. Actually, haven't I been in here before? I think I might have. Anyway, to the castle. Haven't been here yet. Welcome to Troa Castle. Please make yourself at home. You wish to know about the crystal? Speak to the clerics inside the castle. The clerics are solemn servants of the gods. Honor them and conduct yourself properly, understood? You know, I can't help but notice that these are men. I happen to know that in the original one, they were not men, so I'm sort of wondering what's up with that. Like seriously. These should all be chicks. A dumb-skinned man drifted into Troas somehow. He claims to be, be he's a prince. Troa has never been at war. I don't know how well we could fight to protect Troa if war breaks out. Huh. The clerics have are convening in the chamber behind me. But yeah, you see these people? All of the guards should be dressed like this. You want me to dance for you? As if. I'm a guard, not a dancer. Wait, what did the other one say? The, this armor lacks strength, but of course, excellent mobility. It's also very fashionable. How stereotypical. Anyway. Wow. That's, uh, I'm the clerics, I'm guessing. Without the crystal, Troll might become a wasteland again. A game? When was the first time? Because it looks pretty good out there right now, actually. The Dark Elf is weak against metallic weapons. He has set up a magnetic field around the cavern for protection. Yeah, he would do that. The crystal room is empty. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here, so... Let's go somewhere else. Um, like over here. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, is that who I think it is? Please keep your voice down. There's a sick man resting here. I think it is. Edward! Cecil, you are alive? I am so relieved. I wish to join you again. You cannot help us in that condition, though. You would only burden us. 
Nutella. I can begin to ask for your forgiveness. Anna died because of me. I can never atone for that. Edward, your health should be your greatest concern now. You should get your rest. Yay. So we all survived. Where's Rydia? Well, not all of us. I see. I wish I had been there to help you out during our battles. Your battles. <coughs> hey, I uh, wait no, what was Sid's voice again? Um I know what I was going for, but let's I should have really practiced this before I started. Um Okay, well, you know what? That's gonna be a big blank spot because I was just having coughing. So, you know what? You could you can read it yourself. Actually, wait, what's the damn it? <coughs> I didn't read it. Ah, I'm so stupid. Why do I do this to myself? Anyway, I appreciate it. Let me repay ya. With me and the Enterprise, we can rise above anything! You must be Sid, the airship and What am I even doing? Wait, does this mean we have an airship? Like, the voices are fine, I think, but I really need to be more consistent one way or the other, you know? Cecil, whatever became of Rosa? Golbez. Propose to trade. He will return Rosa in return for Troa's crystal. But the crystal lies in the hands of the Dark Elf. The Dark Elf. Cecil, you must take this. What is it? This is the only way I can be of any help right now. Twin harp? Uh, Cecil, please save Rosa. <coughs> I'm gonna leave that in, because it seems appropriate for a sick person. So anyway, that twin harp. I don't see it. Um, really, where did it go? Oh, there it is. A mysterious harp that carries sound far away. That's vague. We are attempting, attending to the prince around the clock. Me, I'm the nurse. She's the doctor. He requires much rest. He is quite frail, which explains his slow recovery. It's Edward's harp. Which harp? He had more than one. Well, anyway. Next stop, to the treasury! Three stairways, eh? No, this one's empty. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks promising. This was once a dungeon, but now it houses Troa's treasure. Have the clerics granted you permission to enter? Um, let's see. If I was a dark knight, I would lie. But it seems to me I'm a paladin, so I should tell the truth. My, you're honest. Not gonna let me in, I guess. Son of a submariner. Or daughter, I guess. 
What does this button do? Ooh. A tent. And a tent. Okay. Okay, that's a little weird. A high potion. And a high potion. Really though, what's up with these weird buttons? And either. And an either. A ruby ring. And a ru- Okay, I'm glad I didn't buy those. Okay, now, you'll re recall earlier on, they said that the Dark Elf has control over magnetism. What that means is, no metal items will work in his cave. If you try to wear them, that you will just get destroyed. Um, with that in mind, it's going to be a little tricky to get to the cave in the first place. And yes, that's where we're going next. Because... The cave is here. And there's really nowhere you can land here. Wait, can I... Maybe... No, right. There's really nowhere you can land here. Nope, but there is a pretty simple way to get here if you know the trick. Which I'm about to show you. Just walk up here. And up a little more, and up a little more, and it's a chocobo forest. Well, actually, it said village, didn't it? And what is this? Is it? Could it be a black chocobo? Well, more purple, really. But if I can just black chocobo, giddy out, really? Ha 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 ha! The black chocobo can fly anywhere on the map. Okay, not anywhere. It actually flies pretty low. So it can't fly over mountains and stuff. And if I can just go, say... Where's a good spot? Here? I can't land there. It can only land in forests. So... Hopefully I have enough arrows. <laughs> I'm gonna go right here. Here. And it'll stay there until I come back out. And we enter the magnetic cave. And before I take two steps, I need to re I need to re-equip. So I'll see you in a minute once I'm done that. And now I'm done. So that magnetic field is powerful. And it's equipped an innocent metallic to slow us down. My claws appear to be unaffected. Good to know, Yang. Because yeah, that's a thing. A lot of items are actually pretty ambiguous about whether or not they're metal. Having said that, I was covered in Mythra stuff, which is pretty obviously metal. Fear not! We, we, we stand invincible with my magic, which is to a total lie. You might have noticed, at this point, Cecil has more MP than Taylor. Cecil is a paladin, and two levels lower than Taylor. And Taylor is not really that powerful mage in the first place. Kate Sith. So yeah, as you can see, I gave Cecil a bow. Because, honestly, it's the best thing to give him at this point. What? Did... Really? Did it just do that? Did it really just do that? Well, that sucks. Um... Yeah, you know, I really don't think I have enough arrows, actually. <laughs> um, but that's what I get for not having enough money. There is also one more thing I forgot to do. Ha! Now it's Disney But yeah, since Cecil er, has a bow, you can put him on the back row and it won't affect his damage output. And I forgot to heal instead. That's a little bit stupid of me. But suffice to say, I'm going to use cover and magic a lot more stuff here than I have previously. Uh, so apparently, after you tell Cecil to cover someone, Hi Potion! He continues doing that until you tell him not to. I did not know that. 
Now then, where was I? We need to go down here. Actually, I don't know how big this dungeon is. I'm hoping it's not too large. Because obviously it has the whole magnetic thing that makes it way harder. Cave bat. Although having said that, I gotta admit, I don't think the enemies in here are really too tough. Like the hedgehogs, those are pretty common all around the world map. And they can hit pretty hard, but they're not really a significant danger on their own. And these bats, like, seriously? Frankly, I really don't think they can deal much more damage than they just did. Hopefully I can MP staff them though. Awesome. Oh hey, and they dropped a high potion. That's cool. Unicorn horn. That cures a few different alignments, I think. Ailments. An ogre? Well, gotta kill the ca cat in death, because those things are bloody scary. Like, really, really scary. Um, yeah. Let's do that. The ogre is not so scary. Although, ogres can hit pretty hard. They don't really do anything but, you know, hit. So I'm not too worried about an ogre by itself. Oh hey! Celsa just learned Asuna. Awesome. Now is there a box over- yes! A uh, cave nigga. Who even knows what that does? I sure don't. So, what do you want to bet that this has no MP? Um, guess I'm about to find out. And it has... Oh, actually, wow. Well, actually... Normally, I think an enemy like that wouldn't have MP. They probably give it MP just so that you can, you know, actually use Tayla for the dungeon. And either, yay! This is sort of twit. What? Well, what's behind the door? What's behind door number one? The dem arrows. They are too unreliable. <coughs> and it is dead again. For crying out loud. Um, I'm not really confident in Cecil's ability to deal damage with those arrows either. Like, even if it had a reasonable amount of them. So, as I was saying, what's behind door number one? Um, good question. It's neither. Um, right. I'm gonna cut up here for now. So, join me next episode as we continue the Magnetic Cave with Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Blue. Until then, I'm gonna totally die if I don't do anything. Um, also, see ya.